Uh, the other day, I was uh, on the website called Knitting Paradise, and they were discussing a stitch, and somebody wanted to know if you could work that stitch in the round, and it was called Cartridge Belt Knit Rib Stitch, or something to that effect. And I said, well, I wonder if I need to change it around for left-handed knitting. So I went and I got the stitch, and I uh, worked it back and forth with a simple little yellow yarn, worked it flat, and if you look at it, it's completely reversible. I said, now that's neat. So I said, let me figure out how to do it in the round. So I sat down and I said, hmm, this is basically a garter stitch with a tuck or a slip stitch every um, four stitches. Actually, it comes out to, to not every four, but every third stitch. But I'll sh show you what I mean. So I said, okay, that's interesting. I wonder what it would look like in two colors. And so I said, let's just start ahead. So I cast on 72 uh, stitches, which is basically a hat, a simple hat. This would be about a medium for an adult head or a large for a child's head. And I started working it in the round in two colors. And I was so pleased with the uh, effect that the two colors made that I will probably never ever do it in a single color. Now, what is it? It is a garter stitch, but you have to slip a stitch. And when you slip that stitch and knit it every other round, what happens is you get this pretty little rib there and there. Let me explain the pattern. My pattern is simple. Now, this is the side that I'm knitting white with. So, when I cast on, I use two colors, and I use my German cast on, uh, which is my favorite cast on for hats. It's very stretchy. It never binds. With the two colors, all I had to do was, when I joined it in the round, was pick up one of them and start knitting. Now, if you've ever done garter stitch in the round, one row is knit and the next row is purled. Now, the pattern done flat, like this, turns out to be entirely knit because it's a garter stitch. You knit across, you turn it, you knit back across. But because we're doing it in the round, our second row has to be purl. Let me show you the pattern. Okay, it's a sequence of four stitches. We knit one, we knit two, we knit three. Now, we're going to slip, but the stitch that we're going to slip is the one that's in the back. So when we slip it, we want to slip it, okay, as if to purl, okay, because we're going to purl that stitch next time around. And we want to keep the yarn in front because we don't want that yarn to cover our um, stitch in the back because we want it to show as a line of, I guess a chain is what you would call it. Now, that was it. Four stitches. Let's look at it again. Knit, knit, knit. Now, because I'm doing continental, this is really an easy pattern. Easy on the hands and everything else. We're going to move the yarn to the front. We're going to catch that as if to purl. We're going to slip it off and move our yarn back. One, two, three. We're going to yarn forward, slip it as if to purl. One, two, three. Now, that was easy, right? But when we come around 
again, remember, this is a garter stitch. So we're going to have to purl the next round. Now, let me finish this round, and I will show you the purl round. Oops. I knitted that, and I'm supposed to slip it. One small thing you need to notice when I'm knitting this, because I'm knitting continental, and I'm doing a purl row followed by a knit row followed by a purl row, my stitches, the leading leg is on the back, which really makes it easy to knit through. And of course, since we're using uh, four stitches uh, as our repeat when I come to the end before my end peat, my end stitch I'm going to slip the last one okay and I'm going to put my yarn over there and I'm going to pick up the gray now let me slip my marker here okay now this is our purl row notice our purl the, the leading leg of our stitch for a purl is on the front, which really makes it easy to knit. Okay? So, but this is our rib for the, the white. And so when we slip it, because we can't knit it with our gray, when we slip it, we want our gray yarn to be in the back and not in the front. So we're going to slip it as if to knit and then pull our yarn forward. One, two, three. Now, notice when I started, this is offset slightly, okay? Because this is going to be my rib in the front, and that's going to be my rib in the back. I'm going to have to slip this one. So the second row, instead of knitting or purling three, we're going to purl one, slip a stitch, and then purl three. So it's offset. Then we're going to slip it as if to knit and purl three. And it's going to go so fast because we're knitting continental. And the pattern is just, I, I was flabbergasted when I saw this. It is such an interesting pattern. And I showed it to one of my little grandsons. And I think he wants the hat when it's finished. And he likes the reverse side. Okay, and you can really see the stitch pattern. Instead of just being a garter stitch, uh, it has a lot of interest. And of course, it is a rib stitch, so it's quite stretchy, very nice and thick, be very nice as a hat. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish this hat, and I'll show you how I bind it off. I have finished my hat uh, long enough, and now it's time to shape the crown. After much thought and a couple of false starts, I have finally decided that what I need to do is do all of my shaping on the outside. That would be the white yarn. When I'm knitting only, do I want to do my decreases? So I split the hat into six sections. So I will decrease six stitches each time that I knit around. Now remember, I have my purl rounds in between. I'm not going to worry about the purl rounds because when I decrease the front, I will also be uh, decreasing the back. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do. First off, got my white, knit first stitch. All I'm going to do is just simply knit two together, like that. Now, notice that lays that way, which is just fine. Now, if I knit one here, that is actually my uh, stripe from the other side. So I don't want to knit that. I want to slip it as if to purl. Okay, knit the next one. And I will continue in this manner until I hit the next marker. 
be careful to slip those stitches that I'm supposed to slip. Okay, next marker. Here we go. Just knit two together. And what happens when I knit two together? Now my cartridge is one less stitch wide, so I'm only going to have one knit stitch here, and then I'm going to have to slip that stitch and another knit stitch. So I only have two white knit stitches showing here where everywhere else I have three. But we'll fix that in a little bit. So I'm going to continue on around and I will do the purl round being careful to uh, work in pattern and I'll be right back. I have finished my first decrease row as you can see right here and right here and I finished my purl row. So let's do the second decrease row. I don't want to decrease on the same cartridge. I want to slip that one, uh, do that one regularly, and then I want to decrease on the second one. Let's do that. Okay, this is knit, knit. Now remember, right here is my reverse side stripe, so I need to slip that one. One. Now I'm going to decrease there. And of course that reduces that one, and so I need to slip that one. One, two, three, slip, one. Now, here again, I've already decreased on this one, so I want to do the next one, which is right here. And I'm going to continue on around in that way, and I'll be right back. I finished my second decrease row here. One here, one here, and now I'm aiming for that cartridge. Let me do that, and I'll be back. One little note here. You notice that before, uh, I always had three uh, white knit stitches. Now I'm down to two. Uh, we're going to decrease farther and let me finish this round decreasing in the one, two, third cartridge in each group. I have finished all the decreases that are leaning that way, one, two, three, on each of the uh, cartridges that I have separated with these little markers. Now what I need to do is I need to decrease on the other side of this cartridge and do the same thing again. Do the first one, the second one, the third one, and, the, and keep going on all the way around. But I can't just do a knit two together because if I do a, a knit two together like I did before this stitch is going to be on top and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip it, slip it like that, and then I'm going to knit in backwards. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the white stitch on top of the gray stitch. Now I'm going to show you that one again. Okay, so this one will be a slip, slip, a knit, a knit, uh, a slip, a knit, a knit, a slip, a knit, and now we're going to do it again. So what, oh, excuse me, I want to do this one. So I'm going to pick this one up, and that one up, I'm going to slip them back on. Notice the leading legs are in the front. I'm going to go in backwards, and I don't even remember the name of that but that's what we want to do, okay? Now, this one will be a slip and a knit, and when we get to, uh, when we get to the next marker, we'll do the same thing again, all the way around. Watching and making sure I'm slipping my gray stitches in between. 
I'm getting pretty tight on this. Okay, here we go. Here's our cartridge. We're going to slip it, slip it, put it back on, and knit through the back. Slip. I'm going to go all the way around and finish the uh, pearl row, and I'll be back. I finished that first decreased row going that way and my pearl row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with this pattern uh, with the yarn and keep continuing to decrease as I go, making sure I slip those stitches that are supposed to be slipped. So this is the one I worked on last time. This is the second one in that group. And I'm going to do the same thing there. Decrease. Okay, notice my pattern now. I've got one of each color now, except for this last one. And I will have two of those. Slip. Knit. Now I'm going to do the second one. Here we go. This is the second one. I'm going to slip it. And t what I'm doing is I'm twisting it so the legs are in the front. Uh, the leading legs are in the front. So that when I go like this, my uh, yarn is on the top there. Anyway, I'm going to continue around and I'm going to do uh, each one of these in turn. I've already done that one. I've already done that one this one so my next one is here that I'll do a decrease when I do the third one I will have decreased uh, half of the stitches I should have 36 stitches left and I will be pretty tight on this uh, circular needle and after that I'm just going to knit two together and all the way around and then tie off with 18 stitches but I'll be back to show you that I uh, completely finished this hat using uh, the method of just simply knitting two together around and uh, I didn't like it. Uh, it just didn't look right. So I took it back apart, put my stitches back on my needles and I'm going to use a method that I sometimes use when I make a hat with a brioche stitch uh, because there, there's two colors of yarn so I'm going to separate the yarns I'm going to put the white stitches on the outside and the dark stitches on the inside. Now, to do that, we're going to have to remember where we're at. Okay, I want my white stitches on the outside, so I'm going to use the outside uh, needle. Okay, I'm going to slip that stitch off as if to knit. Okay, the next one, I'm going to slip it off as to purl, and it's already set up. Okay, now I can do these two at a time. Okay, knit, purl, knit, purl. Okay, they're separate. On two different needles. Let's keep going. Silver one is my white thread. Knit. The other one is my gray thread. Pearl. In other words, I'm slipping them as if to knit, and then I'm slipping the next one as if to purl, because it's on the inside. Slip as if to knit. Slip as, oops. That one came off, and then purl. Here we go. Let's do the next one. I'm going to keep going around, and I will be back and show you how to finish this off. You must be careful not to let these get twisted around as you're working around. 
keep the white one always on the front and the back one is your dark color. There we go. Now, I want to drop the dark one to the inside because I'm going to finish that later. And I also want to pull those stitches down so they're not in the way. Now, all I have to do is pull And I have my light colored stitches all right here. Some of them have kind of grown from being handled. Now all I have to do is go around a few times. And keep pulling that tighter. got a real big stitch here but we're just going to ignore it and kind of work it in here not too sure where it came from use it to help us tie off I'm not going to finish this off because I want to make sure everything looks just fine on the other side. So I'm going to turn it around and here's my gray thread. Well, all I got to do is pull it snug. And now notice it goes the other direction, so when I sew this in, I'm going to have to go the other direction. That's where I worked at the other, uh, earlier, that some of my thread I didn't quite get out. Anyway. I'm done except for finishing off and that's just simple. I will just put a couple of stitches here and there. Give it a knot. And weave down a little ways. Now, I don't need to do that on camera. So, here's my one side, I gotta get that out. And here's the other side. All I have to do is weave in the ends and I'll be done. So, I kind of like the little cartridge belt, knit, stitch, rib, however you wanna call it. Uh, very interesting stitch. I'll have to use it again in some other projects. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.